Hi everyone. Today we're going to be making taco meatloaf. What are the ingredients of taco meatloaf? One pound lean ground beef, one half cup finely crushed corn chips, one beaten egg, three teaspoons chili powder, one teaspoon cumin, one half cup thick and chunky salsa, one half teaspoon black pepper, one half cup Mexican shredded cheese, and for the topping, one cup of refried beans, one fourth cup of salsa, and one cup Mexican shredded cheese. So let's begin. The first thing you want to do is set your oven to 375. Now you want to take your corn chips and crush them into very fine crumbs. And I normally use a rolling pin. I don't know where mine's at. I put my corn chips in a baggie and I took this cup that looks like a solo cup, but it's actually hard plastic. And I went ahead and just crunched them like that. So any, if you don't have a rolling pin, any hard round square, doesn't matter, as long as it's a hard object that can squish the bejesus out of them. You wanna get a big bowl and put your hamburger in it, which is one pound, one half cup finely crushed corn chips, one beaten egg, three teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one half cup thick and chunky salsa, one half teaspoon of black pepper, and one half cup of Mexican shredded cheese. And then you wanna go ahead and wash your hands thoroughly or wear gloves and mix up the meatloaf mixture until it's thoroughly combined. All right, so it looks like it's combined pretty well. Now this recipe says do not use a meatloaf pan, but to put it on a baking sheet and form it into an oval loaf. And the reason why they don't want you to do that is because they don't want it to be soaking up its grease. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in a meatloaf pan because I have a grease draining meatloaf pan. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of cooking spray just so the meatloaf don't stick to it. It is 93% lean, so it's not gonna have a whole lot of grease anyway and it probably will stick to the pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and slightly spray the pan. And of course it doesn't call for that because it calls for using a baking sheet. And then we'll go ahead and put our meatloaf mix into the loaf pan. and flatten it out to make a loaf. All right, so it's a nice loaf in the pan. So next we're gonna go ahead and make the topping for this. So you wanna take a smaller bowl and put your one cup of refried beans 
and your one fourth cup salsa and stir it up until it's mixed. And that looks pretty good. So we'll grab our meatloaf and then put this on and kind of spread it like frosting. And then we want to go ahead and put it in a 375 degree oven for 45 minutes. But after it has cooked for 42 minutes, we'll want to take it out and add the one cup of Mexican shredded cheese. All right, so I have about three minutes cook time left. I'm going to go ahead and put one cup of shredded Mexican cheese on top and then stick it back in the oven for about three minutes so the cheese can melt. So here's the taco meatloaf and rounding up the meal is smooth refried beans. And you can also garnish your meatloaf any way you want to by adding sour cream, guacamole, more salsa, however you would like. It's got a little bit of a kick to it, but I like it. Just wanted to do again. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.